This is my first walkthrough video. It is going to be of Transformers from Cybertron. This is Dimark. The Dark. Yes. Okay. Epic. Um, I've already unlocked a lot of the weapons on this. Almost all of them, except for Team of One. So, let's start from the beginning. Um, my name is Luton. So, I can give helpful advice and tips for each level because I have experience on each level. Because I'm just a pro at this game. So, <clears throat> I can go through and show individual parts to this, like where to go through and weapons and stuff if you'd like me to do that show like videos of where to find some of that stuff but right now let's get started chapter one the exit um the objective is as the arc rockets towards a wormhole in space bumblebee fights against Decepticon, eager to board and destroy the autobots last hope okay let's get started Not too sure what to say, but I'll be quiet and let you listen to this. War is lost. Leaving our home is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. It has been one deep in the Avengers. Whatever lies beyond that portal is our is where we all start. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a little sick, so my throat, if I'm having to clear my throat or cough a bit, that's why. Sorry. <coughs> with inverted controls, but if you do, how the heck do you do it? You should, you should tell me, because actually, don't, because I really don't care. I've never played inverted controls. <clears throat> Alright. How about we just randomly fire in some random open direction without even aiming? about this game, unlike regular War for Cybertron, you can press B and you can switch your firing hand. Well, on the Xbox it's B, I know it is in the other games, but so now, you don't always just have to be on the left side trying to get cover, because you can only fire with this hand, you can fire with your left hand as well. But I'm just so used to firing with the right hand, you don't see me using the right hand Shiny. Oh yeah. Shut up, Megatron. Stupid face. I'm gonna tear your mother apart piece by piece. Yes, definitely. Got it. 
somehow something's gonna happen, I'm gonna be forced to leave the bridge and defy Megatron, Optimus Prime's orders. I feel like a renegade. Yeah, cause you suck, Teltran. No, I'm just kidding. Love you, Teltran one. Best thing in the world. You will be using Moleculon fuses a lot in this game. To go find hidden whatevers. There are a lot of uses of it in this game. Okay. A to jump. Woohoo. Mario. Mega Mario. Okay, cool. So blend up. A jump. Got it. Thank you, sir. But you gotta move fast. So, left bumper to dash. Moving, moving. Now, explain to me if this, if I'm wrong or not, but in space, the only reason I would ever do that is if the ship was oxidized. But Transformers don't breathe air, so why would they need to have an oxidized ship? Now, um, is that just me being wrong, or what? If I'm just wrong and just, just stupid, let me know. But A is jump, you can jump dash. That'll save you a lot of crap. I jump dash a lot in this game. Just because, like, dashing will get you everywhere. You can side dash and all this fun, cool stuff. Woo! Alright. Time to epically reinstall the molecular fuse. Oh, look at that energon flow. Oh, yeah. One little fuse did all of this. Boom. Alright, right stick to melee. Sword action. Sword action. Beastly. Now, you're gonna see people in little windows right here. You can try and help, but you, that's a, a leaper, and if you try and shoot them from the front, you will not do any damage to them whatsoever, and they'll just end up wasting them all Unless you have an explosive weapon, but most of the time, just attack leapers from behind. Wow, I ramble a lot in this game. Oh no. Explosions. Fire. You know, last time, whenever I watched this, or listened to this, I thought he said something else. Oh no. This is when you shift your left hand, and you can fire from right side instead of just always being on the left. And also in this, you can blow up a lot of the cover in the game to prevent your opponent from having too many hiding places. Pretty nice addition. I like that. But, in War for Cybertron, if you're the Decepticons and you're fighting Omega Supreme, oh man, you destroy your cover. Oh well, sorry, rambling again. My bad. Sprint melee. And then boom. Hit the panel. Everything's all well, fine, and dandy. Yeah, I did it. You only one single beast. Well, look at those cannons go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Optimus is being Optimus. And he's fighting Megatron head first. No, not head first, uh, head on. Oh no, yes, I'm here. Yes. Bumblebee has so many medical problems. He could never transform. No. I'm happy with these controls. Oh my god, it's Bruticus. That guy's a beast. But I'm scared. Like, that guy scares the heck out of me. Let's fire some vehicle weapons. If you press right bumper, you get a Nikus boost. Which, if you're Bumblebee... Um, you're about to become a race car. Oh, God. I'm a terrible driver. At least this is why my dad says he never wants me to race. And I'm killing myself and anyone else in the car with me. Oh, God. Oh, John. I'm jumping. Jump it. 
I'm great at doing that. Whoa. Awesome. That is an Autobot Titan. For any of you who didn't know. And those guys, they're not necessarily too hard to kill, but they just look so freaking cool. I mean, look at that. That is just awesome right there. Okay, sorry. Yep. Back on task. Transform. Yes. I'm here. You wanna know why? Cause I'm a beast. Pretty high now that Bumblebee's in roof. Yeah, fresh supplies. Punk. Yeah, I know. Think I'm stupid? Oh yeah. Let's 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 get it on. Oh yeah. Now there is a difference between primary weapon ammunition and heavy weapon ammunition. And here it is. Primary weapon ammunition is blue. See these right here? The blueness on them? Well, heavy weapon ammunition is orange. And if you're gonna go and you're gonna see a heavy weapon, um, like this, thermal rocket cannon, its ammunition is blue or er, orange, not blue. God dang it, I'm trying to steer you wrong. I'll never steer you guys wrong. Shut up, I know how to shoot. Um, last time I checked, I'm higher ranking than you are. So, yeah. Um, the thermal rocket cannon, well, it locks onto anything now. In this game, um, originally it only locked onto vehicles. It only has four ammunition in, in the thing, because I haven't upgraded it in any of my other games. Sorry about that. I just really, really liked it. But other heavy weapons that I liked a lot more. Go in, and you're attacked by more, and just go in head on. At this point, there's no reason really, unless you're on a harder difficulty, or unless you're on like the hardest difficulty, then just press through. Here's the heavy, heavy weapon ammunition. Primary is blue, heavy right here, orange. Learn that, and keep it in mind well. As I'll probably forget. See, look at that Titan be awesome, man. Let's, uh, lock on to these guys. See, the Titan, he's awesome. He's really drawing all the fire to himself. If you stand behind the Titan, then he'll protect you through most of it. And the gun he's using right now is a subatomic repeater. Love that gun. I have it myself. Use it sometimes. Not all the times, though. The neutron assault rifle, I don't necessarily like or too much. It doesn't have the best rate of fire. And it doesn't do all that great of damage. So you're never, ever going to see me use the neutron assault rifle. Unless it just comes in stock, because the game wants to be a douche rat. This is the first part. So, of course, this episode's gonna be much shorter than any of the others. Um, I'm going to make two parts in this one night. So, while all of that is, all this is transpiring, um, once this little part is over, I'm gonna stop it here, and then I'm gonna start with the next part. So we're gonna use LS, we're gonna crawl up. Uh-oh. Megatron just pulled out this super huge cannon. Oh man. Oh man. No. Oh man. Bumblebee. You did it. You saved Optimus. But why did you jump in front of him? Optimus could have handled it himself. No, Bumblebee. No. Yes. Yes. For those of you wondering, Bumblebee did. Bum yeah. Bumblebee.